Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where today I'm going to be giving you a brief overview on all of the upgraded gun running weapons so let's get right to the guide shall we? So to begin to get all of these new fancy gun running weapons you need to own a mobile command center which is equipped with a vehicle slash weapons workshop. Simply go inside your mobile command center and walk over here to let the magic begin. There's only a small handful of weapons that can undergo a change and just like some cars that can be taken to bed Benny's workshop to undergo a massive change in appearance and performance, it's the same case with this lot of weapons here. It's expensive so you better hope that your wallet is big enough. And if not, which weapon should you save up for? Well for this video I'm going to upgrade all of the weapons and see if they're worth the upgrade and what's nice is the fact that if you don't like the upgraded weapons known as Mark II, you can easily downgrade your weapons back to Mark I. Now downgrading does actually offer an advantage which I'll explain later. Anyways, to get the upgraded weapons you first have to be high enough rank to use the Mark 1 version of the weapon. For example, if you haven't yet unlocked the heavy sniper rifle then you can't just go ahead and buy the Mark 2 heavy sniper. So you pay an enormous amount of money and provided you've already done the expensive or long process of researching all of the weapon mods, you have a plethora of mods for you to attach to your Mark II specific weapons. Most of which include muzzle brakes, different ammo types for different hit effects and bonuses, scopes for the sniper rifle among other things. The most notable mods you can attach are changes in ammo types. For most of the weapons you can either have a standard ammo mag, extended standard ammo mag, incendiary which is supposed to give you a chance of setting your shot target on fire, there's tracer rounds, which are just pointless, there's hollow point rounds which deal extra damage to players and NPCs that aren't wearing body armour, you have full metal jacket or FMJ for short for dealing extra damage to people wearing body armour as well as to vehicles as well as being able to penetrate bulletproof windows like the armour Kuruma among other vehicles and finally for the heavy sniper only you can get explosive rounds but I'll talk about that later. Before I do that, I'll just explain a few things that you'll need to know about these Mark II weapons that may or may not influence your decision to actually splurge the money on obtaining them. Number 1. When a weapon is in Mark II form, you can no longer buy ammo for it in the interaction menu. You have to manually go back to your mobile command center to get more ammo. Number 2. Speaking of ammo, the amount of reserve ammo for your Mark II weapons that you can carry on you is very limited compared to normal weapons. Number 3. Depending on your ammo type, the amount of ammo that the weapon's clips can hold can be reduced. And finally, number 4. Ammo for the Mark II weapons costs an arm and a leg, especially the explosive ammo for the heavy sniper. With those downsides out of the way, the Mark II weapons can be quite devastating. The pistol is a great drive-by weapon depending on your configuration of ammo, the two assault rifles can be made to suit certain situations, the machine gun when equipped with full metal jacket absolutely wrecks vehicles and the heavy sniper, besides being able to be equipped with night vision scopes and thermal scopes for easy target acquisition, can kill hydras. Yes that's right, out of all of the things that we thought was going to be the hydra killer, those big SAM missile vehicles, the flak cannons, the mobile command center, the heavy sniper rifle is the Hydra killer. You know way back when the modders were firing their guns around and their bullets exploded on impact? Well now everyone can do that. And as a result, anyone who has a Mark II heavy sniper rifle with explosive ammo can take down a Hydra, or any aircraft for that matter, with just two well placed shots. As you can probably imagine, this is goddamn overpowered and it makes me wonder if Rockstar is actually going to keep this in the game. Because now with the introduction of the Boom Rifle, my own personal name for it, flying in GTA Online is now pretty much outlawed. Unless you're in a really friendly lobby where everyone holds hands and sings a song all day, or you're in a private or solo session, you're not going to be flying around for long before you get blown up. I guess passive mode exists for a reason. Using the Mark II Heavy Sniper is also massively overpowered against other players too. Then again it was frustrating when you had tryhards using bullshit testosterone all the time just so that they can win sniper battles. So this explosive ammo does at least get rid of one problem. You don't even have to hit the player to kill them, you can just aim at the floor near them and the explosion will do the rest. The heavy sniper rifle Mark II in my opinion is the death of flying in GTA Online. But hey, if you can't beat them, join them, yeah! In any case, I hope you found this short guide useful and if so, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Pyrone Gaming channel for loads more GTA Online guides coming to you very soon. See you around everyone.